Okay, so here we are. The journey has just begun. So here's my little plywood early 50s, I think. Uh, and I think the brand is Roma Caravan. I found one very similar to this on the internet and it was attached to Roma Caravan's website in their history of their caravans and very similar with the porthole window and the style and um, the interiors was exactly the same as this one so I'm thinking it was a Roma I sent them an email and I have heard nothing I've tried to call them and no one answers I don't know what's happened to them but anyway so here is my journey I was hoping this is my record of my Renaults I was hoping that the interior is great we'll go inside in a minute the interior is great it's really solid I also found out the the guy I bought it off back in 2000, uh, 2017 uh, we had a pretty big flood here where I live and I can see by the fine film of river mud over especially up in the cabinets it was in a flood so I'm just pretty sure it was the 2017 flood that it was stuck in but that aside the interior is really solid really solid so I'm happy with that so the outside I thought I could just sand this plywood back because majority of it is in pretty good nick and it's really nice but on further investigation especially around the edges this one's not so bad but you can see how well you can see there uh, as you go further in it's actually really quite perished and rotted I was hoping that these rough edges I could just bog out because it's not it didn't look too bad and sand and paint back into the original uh, color it looked like it was cream once upon a time there's sort of roughly the color that it was maybe -ish. Uh, it was a cream creamy yellowy buttery color originally so but like I said on further investigation all this is it's just too perished and too brittle uh, to try and save I thought I was going to save myself a heap of um, time and work but hey it's not that bad I can just take this off the frames not too bad let's have a look the frame as you can see isn't too bad in majority of the cases everywhere so I can just gently pull this off because it's just nailed on, thank goodness. And replace it with some new ply, use the, out, um, the old stuff as a stencil template. But um, the arse end has fallen out. Not a big deal. Still got its original lights by the look of it. Uh, there yes so shouldn't be too hard and because it's thin it just looks like a thin three mil ply um, and it should curve easy enough this somebody down I don't know in the past took because there was two double windows here two double windows similar to the front I'll show you the front So similar to that bit at the back and somebody took them out or they rotted or I don't know what happened in the past but um, they decided to replace it just with a um, full sheet of Perspex 
might have been great for letting light in but whoever did it did such a bodgy um, job and just put so much um, silicon crap to try and seal it um, yeah they've just gone and wrecked it so easy fix and there's not too much that um, needs replacing in the way, way of framework I've got to still get this off the nails have rusted in a lot of cases especially if you, as you go up I can see where the flood was and it's pretty much in keeping because up to about say roughly here the top of um, the window roughly it, they're all rusted to the point where I could just pull them out of the woodwork but when I get up higher where it stayed out of the flood um, I don't know how I'm gonna get them out I don't know, maybe get my renovator tool and just try and sort of get it up underneath this to try and cut the nails um, once I've got that off I can start peeling these off um, these are really cute original if anybody knows anything about timber especially Australian timber this is ow that goes sticking paint up your fingernail uh, this is um, silky oak which uh, a lot of people I don't know how people are, are about it these days but oh silky oak oh they're amazing oh you've got to have ooh, fix it so I'll renovate these uh, it's pretty um, good condition just need to yeah sand it it's good that um, so much paint's gone on it because it's protected it a lot. So, all right, let's get moving. I don't want to bore you too much. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so all original. The table was there. I've taken it out, obviously, to make some space for myself. It's even got the plywood um, hatches still here. It goes on there somehow, but um, yeah, it goes on there. So everything's solid, really solid. Look at the old um, original lights. Pretty cool. Um, I thought originally because I, I looked up um, light switches and they were 1930s. Maybe they just had them in reserve, but um, they're still there. My light fittings, great. I need to replace the roof um, because you can see there is a couple of holes um, up in there. So I just need to take this down. All the rest of it, um, it feels pretty good. So I will leave that. Still got the original spring. If, yep, the door open for me, the original spring mechanism, which is great. The lights, original, and I think I took, oh no, it's still there. Um, that's the original glass that was in it. Again, that looks um, verging on, I don't know. It gave me 1930s feel, but that's glass. It's a bit cracked but I need to get another one. I've done all, I've taken all these off. The hinges again, because they've been so protected from the elements with so many coats of paint, they're almost like brand new. Look how shiny, gorgeous. And all I needed to do was put some um, bit of steel wool on those. I sanded those down, stripped them back, sanded them back, and I, it looked like these were sort of different colors, pale pastel colors. Um, some were um, a yellowy color, some were a greeny, bluey color. Um, but these are pretty special. Once I sand them back properly, this is just the first um, sand back. Once I sand them back properly, um, I'm going to varnish them clear coat them and just put them up. I'll paint the inside um, white or a creamy colour. You can see here, once again, where it's been protected, it's a bit dirty, where it's been protected 
I don't know how well you can see that. It's a creamy sort of a color. So I might just do that inside, I don't know, or white. White seems a bit harsh for this sort of caravan. You can see the color there a bit. And just have just the plain timber um, back up there. It's got the original knobs on it. Got flies trying to eat me. I've <laughs> sanded those back as well, you can see. So yeah, they're all done up the top. What do I do with you? Oh, yeah, don't lose them. So I've put them all back in their little holes, um, just so I know which ones go where, because so I don't just don't pile them all and hope for the best. Um, sometimes these were customed to fit properly. So I've put them back in their pigeonholes where they're supposed to be. This gorgeous thing, um, God knows how I am going to clean that. I have no idea at all. You can see the brown on there. Um, you can see it lifts and it, it really is fine silk and I can see it all over everything and especially inside that's why I know it was in the flood and all on top of that it's got the original sink which is some sort of pink plastic I hope this is going to be in a nice condition that I can keep the pink because it's so cute hopefully I don't know what I'm going to um, do with it otherwise hopefully um, you can see the original um, what do you call it? Laminate stuff. That's on the table as well. The table is in very good condition. This is in good condition as well. The ed edging isn't. Um, needs to come off. Everything's solid as. It's so good. So happy. I took that off. That goes on there. And like I said, all these doors. I've got my work cut out for me will be timber and you got um, your little cup holders pretty cute I'll show you this uh, it did have original blinds which went up under there uh, it would have been interesting to see what sort of blinds they were it's got the space I thank goodness have got Okay, it comes out. I have got uh, a hot plate. Um, I'll show you down the back. Hopefully I can get all this. They painted everything. Hopefully I can get all that off the laminate without damaging it too much. It looks like a lot of work. It probably is. I don't know what's happened there. That one's stuck. Uh, so down the bottom, again, all timber, it's still got the original, um, handles. Oh, hello Spidey, coming out of there, so, good to check what that laminate it is, but it's got the original ice box here which is pretty special uh, that's gonna be a fair bit of work to clean that out and get that I'm not gonna rip it out because I want to leave this van as original as I possibly can I don't know how I'm going to work a fridge in here <laughs> no idea but that ice box is staying definitely staying Draws. everything's solid that nothing's wobbly nothing's bad it could even go in here the fridge if I got a little bar fridge because I don't know why maybe it was his and hers so you got the wardrobe there and I don't know you got for things down there whatever you call it you I don't know. 
undies and stuff, I guess. I have no idea. So maybe I can incorporate a fridge in there for people. Um, don't know. I'll see. Have to wait and see on that one. Um, you can see here where the arse has come out. I've got this window here. And it has got that on the back. But I am, am yet to find because that looks like it actually goes, oh sorry, it looks like it goes into something, these things, like slots into something. But I am yet to find where it slots into. And I'm pretty sure I'll find it. But there's no rush for it. Uh, not sure, it's not too, there's a couple of spots on there, but I don't know, do I keep it original or just get a new mirror? I don't know, I can see me a little bit. Um, these are rusted to the bilio. Again, a lot of this has um, come from um, damage from the flood, which was a shame. You can see the flood down, um, where it pulled there as well. The fine mud. I just need to get some ply for the top of that obviously once I build um, the back end back in and got these oh, it's a shame that one's off there I got these original knobbies which is cool to hold it more light switches not too sure where they're for, but I'll find out eventually. Um, the floor's in a, a really good, um, but the floor's solid as. It's super solid. Uh, it would have been nice to know what, what was on the floor originally. Um, but, unless there's a little bit of lino hiding just somewhere, um, I don't know, I'll just have to try and find something that's in keeping without going to the um, generic blah blah renovators, um, black and white checks. The front of um, the A-frame is in a bit of a state. It is rusty as all hell and it's all starting to corrode really badly so I'll probably need to thank God the neighbor is a well um, does welding lovely um, probably chop this out and put a new one in I'll need to put a new one of these in because I think that's just too far gone I don't think I'll ever be able to save that <coughs> pardon me got the original guard metal guard on it um, so yeah, um, all the paint, the van, the creamy, buttery, yellow colour, whatever colour um, it's called, I have no idea. I'll sand back the window frames. Hopefully they'll be in good enough condition that I can just varnish them. I'll try and scrape all the paint off these metal guards the original just to leave them the metal that'll be fun and underneath is a bit rusty I need to make a door for here I think that was for the battery and because there's a whole lot of wires not too sure why it was painted orange but I don't know how it was painted because there's orange bits there was unless it was some sort of painted decal on the I don't, don't know have no idea doesn't matter um, you get the idea so there and even though it's all a bit bashed take these off straighten that up get the paint off it put it back up it'll be like new um, again more of the silky oak which 
is in very good condition, surprisingly. Um, so that'll sand up. This silky oak is really pretty once you sand it up and varnish it, so happy about that. Somebody went crazy on this side and painted, God knows, brown or something. It would have been nice to find out what this, you can see the line, what, what it was uh, underneath there, just to get the colour. But I'll do some investigating. This has got still the original... I don't know how well you can see. I don't know how well you can see that. Just trying to see if I can see anywhere else. Um, it's still got the original um, canvas underneath. So, original. I'm thinking the other side might have been put on at some other time. Maybe this looks like the more original side. It's a shame that window is missing, so I'll have to try and find some silky oak to make up a frame. Um, and that's it. So let's go and have a quick look. Like I said, got heaps to do, heaps and heaps. All my little work area down here. So this is where I've been doing all my sanding. That's the porthole. I've just finished taking the first lot of paint off it. Um, it's all aluminium under there. And that one. And i still got to take that off. And this pretty bit of, and it's really quite thick, glass goes into it. So... That's that, and that's where I'm up to with it. So I don't think there's anything else. Hang on, let's go have a look. Show you the table. Don't look at the mess everywhere. Um, here's the table. Everything's in really good condition. The leg is in really good condition. The spring. Again, is in really good condition. Um, don't drop it. And you can see the laminate on it, and it, it's really good condition on the table. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, and yeah, a lot of sanding, a lot of, lot of sanding, a lot of stripping. Um, and really once I take things off gently like I will start off with the smallest bit I think um, where the porthole window was um, because it's only a small area and yeah just to get the feelers and then I can go inside I'll, I'll keep doing the doors because that's giving me a feel of what's happening inside as well and I can take this off gently put on a new sheet and fix whatever framework it's only here in the arse end there's only a bit missing out of there which is easy to replace if you can see so I'll start off so, so you can see the pink, uh, not the pink, some orange there. And some orange there, so it's it's hard to know, hard to know what it was painted like. Because like I said, it's got this big giant line all the way around it where something else was there. And don't know. The thing is I can't see any orange here. Oh no, there's some there. Unless they just did a really crappy job of painting around the door. I don't know. Um, this has got a 
split door. I don't know what you call it. Um, a Dutch, is it Dutch door? Split in half to here. All timber. And I don't know what this slot's for. I have no idea. I need to find out what that's for. Because uh, that is original, but I don't know what it's for. Um, I'll show you the door quickly, and then I'll go. Don't need to see too much more. I'm waffling on a little bit. The door, the top um, part of the door. Here's the top part of the door. Look at that. That's in a pretty bad state. So that's the top part of the door. Um, again, it was made out of ply and timber. Maybe I can... Oh, no, I can't. Um, yeah, I'll just use that as a template. Um, but the bottom part of the door is in much better um, condition than the top part, which makes absolutely no sense. But it is um, a little bit of bogging up just there. That's the only spot, but it's in really good condition. So I'll keep that. Like I said, I'm keeping this all in as original condition as I possibly can. So that's it. That is... All right, my first um, video of my 19, early 1950s, I think, Roma Caravan, I think, um, the renovations, and yeah, got my work cut out. But the thing is, it's all got it, it's all its original um, features, so that is a bonus. When I'm finished, I will get some um, canvas and make an awning to fit on there. Um, yeah, to go with it, but that's a long way off. All right, there you go. So some of you enjoy looking at caravan renos. Um, I'll do videos once I do, yeah, once I'm a little bit more updated, once I've got a little bit more happening, and yeah, let's see how she turns out. I think she's going to be called Barbara. I'm, I'm calling her Barbara, I think, because I looked up um, most popular female names from the 50s, and Barbara was top 10 listed for pretty much all of the 50s and she was right up the top for pretty much half of it so barbara i think that's what your name's gonna be love so all right i'll see you later bye